A weird quirk of OCD is that the rituals don't transfer. At least I don't find they do. Right, so I've just moved house. You would assume as somebody who had rituals involving doors and windows in my last property, you'd just assume that here. First night in, I'd be right on all the doors and windows. I'd be creating my little system of checks. Not happened. And I knew it wouldn't happen because... I've done enough moving in my life to know that actually that is one of the the few benefits to moving is, for me, it's always like a wonderful blank slate. It's like a really good opportunity to reset on my OCD rituals. Um, but I think people who don't have OCD might not understand this chain of thought. Obviously, a window is a window is a window. It's an object that serves, it doesn't matter if it's a different window, the object serves the same function throughout. So you'd be right to think, well, why wouldn't you do your checks on it? Because surely your checks are motivated by a fear of burglary? Um, in that instance, that specific check. But I don't know, I just don't, it's just a different, It's like, it could be like a piece of cheese. It's just a different object now, so I don't have an urge to do a ritual on it and obviously I'm not going to go out of my way to create one. So I'm actually feeling positive right now. I've had a good few days of really like minimal OCD rituals but I can't be too self-congratulatory because I know enough about OCD to know that I, I liken it to being a recovering alcoholic. I think I've always got to be mindful. Can't be. Com I I say the word complacent. That suggests that there's some there's something bad on my behalf if I actually then go on to develop an OCD ritual. I don't mean it that way. I just mean like I've got to be on it. I've got to be really careful not to one day spend a bit too long locking the door. Um, so I'm not saying I've got rid of my OCD by any stretch of the imagination. I just mean that right now, I'm in a good place with it. Now, obviously, moving house is a slightly drastic life move, so I'm not suggesting that you move house just so it might improve your OCD. But I do wonder if this insight might be useful, uh, um, just because I guess it shows that if you change the variable somehow, it can have a positive impact on OCD. Maybe it might be worth trying to change little things in whatever I don't know OCD so you can't pin OCD down can you only you will know how your OCD affects you but maybe have a think about if is there something that you can change just to see if it does make a positive impact good luck